Neighborhood tours are continuing here in Temecula, and today we're jumping into Vale Ranch. Welcome back to my channel, everybody. This is Scott with Active Realty and the Janung team. As always, thank you so much to the new subscribers. I appreciate your support more than I can say. Last week, I came out with the latest market report here for Temecula. I'll post that video here. And if you're interested in looking at any other community tours I've done here in Temecula so far, I have a playlist here on the channel. Feel free to check that out. I'll also post the video for the holiday events going on in Temecula. I put this out just a couple weeks ago. It'll be linked here. Check this video out if you're interested in some of the community events going on locally between now and the end of the year. Without further ado, let's jump into this community tour of Vale Ranch. So Vale Ranch is located in South Temecula and is nestled between a couple different neighborhoods including Red Hawk, Morgan Hill, and then Paseo del Sol and Paloma del Sol to the north. So we're just south of Temecula Parkway, just to the east of Red Hawk and the Red Hawk Golf Course, and to the west and northwest of Morgan Hill in very south Temecula. Most of the homes built in Vale Ranch came up in the early, mid to late 90s. And the home sizes reflect that time period. They tend to be a little bit smaller. So ranging from anywhere from 1,000 square feet up to around 2,500 square feet, with a few exceptions to that rule, with a couple homes just over 3,000 square feet. But you won't find your 4,000 plus square foot homes in this neighborhood. Looking at the schools, up first we have Pauba Elementary, which is located right in the community, walking distance from every point of the neighborhood. This school gets an 8 out of 10 according to greatschools.org. And again, I will post the greatschools.org link down in the description below so you can get into all the nitty gritty details about all of these schools I'm about to talk about. Up next is Vale Ranch Middle School, also located right in the center of the community, walking distance from almost anywhere within the community. This school also gets an 8 out of 10 on greatschools.org. And finally, the high school is Great Oak High School, the 10 out of 10 high school here in Temecula, and one of the greatest schools in the state of California. Great Oak is about a five minute drive away from the center of the community through Red Hawk. Like the neighborhoods that surround it, Vale Ranch is very close to all of the shopping along Temecula Parkway. So you have restaurants, groceries, retailers of all kinds, all along Temecula Parkway, and Vale Ranch is just at their doorstep. In fact, the namesake of this community, Vale Ranch, Vale Headquarters is located in the heart of the commercial area here in South Temecula and has historic significance for the area as a stagecoach stopover back in the late 1800s, has some of the oldest buildings in Temecula still intact. Vale Headquarters now has several different restaurants and small businesses. You should definitely check it out and support those small businesses if you have the chance. And I talk more about Vale Headquarters here in my holiday events video. Now, depending on how you feel about homeowners associations, you may love this or hate this, but there is no homeowners association here in Vale Ranch. As a result, there is no clubhouse or extra community amenities, including tennis courts or community pools. What Vale Ranch does have is a couple parks, including Vale Ranch Park. This is a long, narrow park that runs north to south, and it has a bike and walking trail, some outdoor fitness stations, and a playground for the kids. The second park I want to mention is Stephen Lennon Jr. Memorial Park. This is a much smaller park located on the corner of Nighthawk Pass and Vale Ranch Parkway. And the city of Temecula actually released a really cool video talking about the namesake of this park. We'll link that video in the description below for you to check out. And finally, just to mention the taxes and special assessments. In this particular community, the taxes and assessments are really low. So after factoring in all the special assessments with the baseline tax rate, you're looking at around a 1.1% tax rate. By comparison, in new construction communities, a lot of the tax rates, including all of the special assessments in Melarus, are approaching almost 2%. So HOA and taxes are a major factor for you deciding where you want to live. Vale Ranch may be a perfect option if you want to avoid those extra costs and fees. And just like that, that's going to wrap up the community tour for this week and for this month. I'll be back next month with another community tour, and I'll be back next week with another video. I'm wishing you all the very happiest of holidays, and I will see you next time. Take care, everybody.